Hey everybody, it's Jenny McGarvey and I am going to share with you today how I planned the week of October 31st through November 6th in my Be Happy, Be Bright, Be You Happy Planner. There is last week and it was so fun and definitely one that I really loved and I am sad to say goodbye to, but I am very, very excited to welcome in a brand new month. I love the first week of a new month with the brand new color scheme and all the fun things that you can work out there. As you can see, I have my pre-planning in both my little sticky notes and then also that Halloween sticker that I had done for all of October. I'm going to flip through all of the Scraptastic Club October Plan On It kit stickers. I've not had the opportunity to use those this month, and so I'm going to use those on this particular layout. You can see the stencil right there that I'm trying to share with you that came with the kit. And then also I had already got, used the stamp set, like looked at the stamp set and on the page. And then now I'm just flipping through the stickers that are included with the kit as well. Now this week is going to be super strange because I'm going to really heavily decorate Monday like crazy, completely not like me decorate Monday and then the wet rest of the week will be very similar to what I normally do. I'm going to lean very heavily still on orange and black, mostly just because there's going to be a lot of that in the Monday since that is Halloween. It's such a weird way to decorate for the week, you know, with that holiday being on a Monday. But it's okay because there's lots of other fun colors that can coordinate with the orange and the black here. And so it's going to all work out great. I just know it. As you can see, I already put down one little sticker for an orthodontist appointment. And now I am moving on to a doctor's appointment. Just trying something really new, which is that black and white diagonal edged label. And then the little stethoscope sticker. Now that's that stamp set that came with the kit. And I wanted to use the one with the little lines, it's really super cute. And I wanted to just use the lines. I didn't want to use the numbers or anything like that. I just wanted to put it down right there so that I could then add the event information that I needed to add. And really mostly just to try it out once and see how I liked it and see how it would look in the rest of the times that I'm gonna use it in the future. Now I am still combining a lot of stamps and a lot of stickers, even though, like I said, I'm heavily decorating Monday and so that's mostly stickers, but I'm definitely trying to break out a lot of stamps this week as well, since it's really just such a favorite way of mine to decorate, to combine the two things together for a really eclectic look. Now I'm going to add the little checklist sticker and then I'm going to actually stamp for my dinner plans and then stamp the to-do header. I don't know why I need to stamp a to-do header each week, but I do. Now I'm gonna use this one from Scraptastic Club. It's a header list. I think you can find it in the pre-order section of the store. Let me talk to you about why I love this stamp. I don't think I've told you about this in the past. It's that, look how basic it is. It's like the craziest basic stamp. So if you're a really simple planner, like you like to keep things really neat and tidy and organized and not over the top, the stamp is perfect. And if you are like super decorative, you do tons of decorating and tons of color, the stamp is perfect for you because it is basic, it'll ground a layout, it will let you be really decorative and cluttered and still help you get things done. So that's kind of why I love, love, love a stamp like this because it's not limited to one type of planning. It works with just about anything. Now there is my traditional Wednesday morning pencil stamp or sticker, I'm sorry, for my late start. It's a vinyl sticker, so I do have to use a different pen. I use a Pilot permanent pen that I got off of Amazon, but it's just like an ultra fine Sharpie. And so if you prefer that or you have something like that, you can use those on those vinyl type stickers as well. And then you won't have any smearing or anything like that. And if you have some of the older Happy Planner stickers, you can also use that permanent pen on there so that it doesn't smear. Now see right there, that is a perfect example of combining stickers and stamps. I just used that sweet stamp shop circle stamp and then combined it with a little baseball icon sticker. It's so, so cute and absolutely I could have stamped. That would have been no problem. But having those together really creates a nice difference and a little bit of different textures there working together. 
Now there is of course my very favorite to-do stamp, that stuff to do. It's very old, you can't purchase it anymore. It's from Big Picture Classes and using it with my Versacolor ink just really adds that little bit of fun right down there at the bottom. Just makes it not so serious and not so like I need to be taken so seriously. I'm just getting stuff done, you know? So now it's time to move on to Thursday and I love that because that means the weekend is getting closer. Now I really only have one activity for Thursday at this time that I need to make note of. So I'm going to use this full box from Sweet Stamp Shop and the Versacolor ink and stamp that orange outline for a soccer practice. Now as you can see I do clean off each stamp when I use it using an alcohol-free baby wipe. You do not have to do that. You could absolutely stamp off the excess ink on a scratch paper or something like that. I do it because I'm very, very messy and I end up with ink all over the place if I don't take care of that. Now there is this little header for my to-do list and I am talking that is cute. It's got this circle with the to-do all around the outside and then I added that cute little black pumpkin sticker and it's just positively adorable. I love that it's totally different and I love that I'm able to still use that little black pumpkin. It's perfect this week because obviously a black pumpkin definitely symbolizes Halloween and so that's why it was definitely important for me to use it this week but it's still crazy neutral and it goes with just about anything that I'm going to use as well. Now I like to try to remember to use all of the things which includes using just like that right there an icon sticker and then the information necessary right next to it. I didn't have to combine it with a whole bunch of things. I could keep it really simple. Now in pre-planning it means that I have to remove the sticky notes that I use to keep track of future events and so sometimes I will do that a little bit ahead of time. Sometimes I'll do it right when I'm going to work on that date. Sometimes I think of things in between. I don't have a real linear path for planning because I definitely forget a lot of things and have to come back. So say right there maybe I was thinking, okay it's time to move on to Saturday, but then I remember, oh no, wait a minute, I need to add something to Friday. So I just stamped the little football from a Sweet Stamp Shop stamp set and then again, like at the top of the day, I just wrote the information right next to that icon. And for my to-do list on Friday, I am breaking out a stencil and I am using that to create the to-do list. It's just a really basic, fun way to get the things down. All you need is literally the stencil and the pen. Um, sometimes I know that stamping can be a little bit overwhelming to people since you need some other supplies as well. You need a good ink, you need a block, um, and people don't really know which one is best or which one to use. And so that can be a little bit a little bit stressful in figuring out, but a stencil, no way, you just need a pen. So it's really a fun way and an easy way to stay organized and to keep things really neat and orderly in your planner. Now there's a lot going on for me on Saturday. Saturday's like a crazy busy day. So I have, as you can see up there, I already have the three notes and then I also have one that I did not notate yet. And so I need to add a whole bunch of things to this particular layout and it can be very, very difficult to make sure that I'm able to get all of that. And then I know that I want to do some stamping in those bottom two boxes. And it's a specific stamp that I'm not going to stamp quite yet. But I know that I want to leave room for it. So I have to make sure that I can get all of my stickers in the spot that I need them so that I can leave room for the stamping in the future. Now that's definitely one of the tricky parts about adding decorative elements to your planning is leaving room for them, making sure that you organize your events and activities that you are adding to your planner and leaving room for those decorative elements that will work for the things that you have planned. So I don't usually plan around decorative elements in that I don't place the same level of importance, but I also know that, okay, well, if I want to add a little bit of decoration, I need to arrange things in a way that allows for me to still add them and it not look awful or terrible, or quite frankly, just not leave me enough room. So definitely keeping that in mind, and that's where definitely pre-planning also helps because then I don't forget something and have to go back and add it in a spot that maybe I was planning for decoration. Now I had a little black football jersey right behind that sticker that I had added ages ago, and I had to remove it because I need to add one more 
planning element, a functional element, and so that wasn't going to work with the black jersey. But you know what? It's okay because there are so many things that are going to be going on on this far right side of the layout that it's definitely not necessary to include the little black jersey as well. So now I have kept the room for the stamping that I'd like to add. And now I need to also start thinking about Sunday because Sunday is a super important week in that it is my youngest son's ninth birthday. And so I want to have it be decorative and fun. And yet I also need to include all of the things. So right there, I'm just going to put a filler box, which isn't something that I normally use a whole ton of. But this week, there wasn't anything else going on on Sunday except for my son's birthday. And so I'm going to note that with a simple box and then a little simple icon present. And I will say that birthdays are just really overwhelming for me to add to my planner because say if it's one of my kids or whatever, I obviously really want it to be special, but I don't even really know how to do that. So I end up kind of confused and overwhelmed and hopefully, you know, in a couple of days, I'll look at this layout and I'll say, oh yeah, that was really just a fun way to notate his birthday. So I don't know. I just know that I'm overwhelmed when I'm planning that. So as you can see, I've left those bottom two blank for the stamping, like I've already told you at least four times, but I just wanted to make it clear that's why there is nothing else added down there right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull out all of the Halloween themed sticker sheets that I have that coordinate with this particular October kit. There are several that are very, very Halloween-y and super cute, and I want to make sure that I use them because since Halloween is now over and I didn't get the opportunity to use these sooner, I want to make sure that I get to use my absolute favorites so that they don't just sit in my stash for another year. And they're just so cute. I'm really excited to look at them for the whole next week. So now there are so many fun ones. Which ones will I use? I'm not sure. So I need to make sure that they all coordinate together. That's for sure the one thing. And then also that they fit in the spaces that I do have available. I really only have that Monday slot because the Tuesday was pretty busy and I do have quite a few activities already there. So I'm going to start at the bottom because that's where we would go trick-or-treating and I have a sticker that says trick-or-treat. Then I have that super cute spooky black full box sticker and so I'll use that one as well. Now there's another full box one that has that little opening and it'll be perfect for adding that happy Halloween sticker on top of it. And so those are just really exciting to me. And these ghosts, I couldn't even resist because they're positively adorable. So you can see how something like this fills up so fast and you really don't get to use that many elements because they're just all so cute. So I'm doing a little tiny bit of layering. I layered that second, or that third box, excuse me, on top of the first two, and then I added that really cute trick-or-treater right on top of there. And then now I'm just adding these corner cobwebs and that 31 for the date, and I, quite frankly, I am really, truly loving this. It's came together so much better than I would have ever expected, and I'm really, really excited about that because I don't do a ton of decorative elements in my planner, and so to over decorate one day like this and have it turn out the way that I love it is really super exciting. So now after I add that little meal planning sticker that I completely and totally forgot about, I can look at the whole thing and see if there's any other places to add stickers. So I've got one more cobweb and then I'm going to search for the one last perfect decorative sticker and I'm pretty much finished. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoyed it and it also lets me know that you liked it as well. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it in the box below and I will do my best to answer it. Thank you so much and make it a great day.